Sharon Gray. I'm now an educational consultant. Before this, I was a head teacher for 18 years and an Ofsted inspector for nine years. In this video, I will talk you through how we approach strategic planning at Netherfield Primary School. I'll talk you through the steps we took with some ideas and questions to consider in your own school. And I'll also draw on the structure and tools from Oxford Owl's School Improvement Pathways that I think would have really helped us at Netherfield. At Netherfield, we knew that setting up a school improvement action plan was a key part of our strategic planning. We wanted to be really precise in terms of our key priorities. One of the first steps I took was to look at what the research told us. It was really important to me that our plans incorporated evidence-based best practice to ensure the actions we took would have the biggest impact. The background and research section of each school improvement pathway provides a summary of the latest research and useful links to relevant reports, making it easy to quickly familiarise yourself with the latest thinking on each issue. There are also key questions answered to help guide you in your school improvement initiative. Don't forget though, research can take many forms. We can learn from the experience of those around us. There are schools across the country who will have tackled the same issues that you're grappling with. They have already been there and done that and can provide the evidence of what works. We need to learn from each other because time is of the essence when we're working with our young people. It can be easier said than done though to share that in-school learning. So the case studies in each pathway can really help. They share the journeys that other schools have been on when tackling a range of school improvement issues. Building on the research and best practice, we knew we had a massive job to do at Netherfield. From our audit, we identified five priorities to focus on. When action planning, it's important to ensure you capture clear actions, establish success criteria, determine who will do what and by when. With our strategic planning, we endeavoured to be quite specific in terms of what our success criteria look like. A brilliant tool on Pathways is the Action Plan Exemplar. I now use it with some of the schools I work with. I find it incredibly supportive to help plan actions, timescales and write your success criteria. Creating effective success criteria can be quite challenging, especially when action plans often need a range of criteria to measure success. When drawing together an action plan, consider the following questions to help reframe your thinking. Are your success criteria focused on the impact on provision and pupils' progress and attainment? Do they include quantitative and qualitative data? Are they clear about the evidence that will be used as a measure of success? Are they time limited? Are they measurable? One of the challenges we faced with our strategic plan was to establish who would do what. We knew that without champions, we'd never be able to achieve our goals. We needed to know who was going to do what and by when, and what their roles, responsibilities, and what they would be accountable for. This can be very empowering for your staff and can help them feel ownership of the change rather than having it done to them. I believe that for strategic planning to be successful, you have to have a clear idea of the tasks that need to happen, but also what success will look like. It's vital to get buy-in from your team because you can't do this on your own. You need people to take responsibility and accountability. The Pathways tools will help you break down what might seem like a daunting school improvement plan into manageable tasks that will empower your team to feel that they can make a difference.